I will use the same file to make the exercise. So I will hide this and let's go. Go to create, select the front plane. Select a line, make a construction line here. Okay, now select the line again. Make a line here with 2.5 millimeters. Go to constraint, select the horizontal vertical, click in this point. And the midpoint here, okay. It is not a construction line, sorry. Go to sketch dimension, the distance between this point and the midpoint here is 34 millimeters. Okay, now let's go. Select a line, select this point, make a line here with 3.5 millimeters, and another line here. Let's remove the construction line here. It's not a construction line, okay, sorry. Go to sketch dimension, click in this point, in this point, the distance here is 47 millimeters. So the line again, make a line here with 4.5 millimeters. Go here, this line has 4.5 millimeters. A line here with 7 millimeters. Another line here with 22 millimeters. A line here with 6.5 millimeters. One millimeter here and 4.5 millimeters. Let's go down here. Make a line here with 4.5 millimeters. Make a line here and make this line here. Okay. Here is, I'm wrong here. Here is two millimeters. Okay. Go to sketch dimension, click in this line and the construction line. The distance here is 12.5 millimeters. And go to constraint, select horizontal vertical. Click in this point and this point. Okay, go to sketch dimension. The angle between these two lines is 115 degrees. Raise okay. The distance here is 4.5 millimeters. That's okay. That should show. Let me show. This distance is five millimeters, sorry. And that's okay. Now finish the sketch. Go to revolve the profile. Is this profile, the sketch one. The axis is the construction line. We have this. Okay. Operational new body, press okay. Go to create a sketch, select this face, select a line, a construction line, make a construction line here in the center, and make another construction line here, and another one on the other side here. It's okay, go to constraint, select horizontal vertical. Click in this two points and click in this point. Okay. Let's line make a line here. Okay. The angle between these two lines is 35.28 degrees. Right, okay. This line is 
remove the construction line here select this is a full line okay and go to constraint select the midpoint select this point here and this line that's okay now go to create select project include project select this add and this add and select this add here and press ok we have this profile here okay finish this cat now go to extra select this profile here cut this 30 30 millimeters and press ok you have this that's okay now go to create a sketch select this face select circle make a circle here with six millimeter of diameter go to sketch dimension click in the midpoint in the circle the distance here is 40.5 millimeters and go to constraint select horizontal vertical click in the circle in the midpoint here now finish the sketch go to hold and select this point here and the whole type is simple the whole tape type is taped the size here is six millimeter designation m6 okay and select model line here and the distance is all press ok now go to create select the pattern circular pattern the object type is features select the hole and the extrude cut okay the axis is the blue axis here and the quantity is six press ok we have this now go to modify select chamfer select this edge here all these ads okay the chamfer here is two millimeters click in add selection set select this edge here the fit the chamfer here is one millimeter okay now select add selection again select this edge here the chamfer here is one millimeter and select this edge and this edge the, the chamfer here is one millimeter and the chamfer here and this edge is zero point 75 millimeters press ok now go to modify again select fit it click here in tangent chain select this face okay now add selection select this edge here the fillet and this and this place is one millimeter press ok now go to bodies here create component from bodies rename this to here cover okay show the housing let's to position these two components go to move and copy select the component here select the housing move the housing here 90 degrees to the side and 90 degrees here press ok now go to joint select this add and this add click and flip let's turn it a little bit 
okay the motion type is read press ok now select the housing and here cover and go to rigid group capture position rigid for constraints select components continue yes and here press ok Here we finish the exercise. So thanks for watching. Subscribe my channel for more. And see the next videos to finish the differential gear exercise. Thanks. Bye bye.